In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can improve your Zoom meetings, video and audio quality by using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera instead of using your laptop's webcam. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sam from Lab Production Tips and Tools. If you're new here, consider subscribing and let's navigate the live streaming world together. If you do some serious Zoom meetings for your business or your organization and you want to look more professional, your webcam sometimes may not give you the best image or your cell phone. I'm going to show you how you can actually use a DSLR and actually use a separate or dedicated microphone to make sure you get the best looking image okay before we go to zoom i'm just gonna show you what i'm using right now so basically uh for the camera i'm using a lumix gh5 okay however this is a professional camera you don't have to spend or buy this kind of camera you can buy cameras like the Canon M50, uh, ZV-1. Another thing you're gonna need is, you're gonna need what's called a capture card. So basically, this is an example of a capture card, which is gonna take an HDMI signal coming from your camera, and it will make it become USB. The next thing is to make sure you have a microphone connected to your camera. So right now, I have a shotgun microphone, and uh, I have a USB microphone at the same time. So so you have a choice between a USB microphone like this that you connect uh, through uh, your computer straight to your computer or you can use a shotgun microphone but one thing is make sure the shotgun microphone you use on your camera is close to you because if it's not close to you enough then the sound may not be uh, that wow you may pick up some background noise and all that kind of stuff okay Another thing, you're gonna need a lens of your choice. Try to use a wide angle lens, but not too wide. Uh, get, you know, a picture like that looks like what you're looking at right now. I'll put some suggestions below for some setups, okay, for Canon and Sony and Lumix. So you guys can pick up those kits if you need it. The next part is gonna be actually in the zoom part itself. Once everything is connected and you're ready to go, Go ahead and open your Zoom application and then go to new meeting. What you need to do is actually go here. As you can see, I have control over video and audio. Okay, so I can go to audio here. And as you can see, I have different options in here and USB video. This is my capture card. If I go to a different input, as you can see, I have nothing there. So that's why you want to make sure you choose the capture card that is connected to your HDMI, okay? So other than that, we have uh, our audio, okay? So basically, you wanna make sure you have the audio. As you can see, I have a, I have a lot of audio sources, okay? But what we can do, if you have your microphone connected to the camera straight, what you wanna do, you wanna choose the same input. And that's actually the setup that I suggest the most because with that setup, it's going to avoid to have some delay uh, issues or sync issues between your audio and your image because everything is coming together within uh, the HDMI cable. So basically, if we're using just the USB microphone, we would go ahead and choose the line in M Audio Producer because that's my, my USB microphone. But for this specific setup, we're going to go ahead and choose USB digital audio which is the audio coming from the camera or from the capture card, okay? Uh, the last thing I need you to know is also make sure you have enabled the clean HDMI through uh, your camera before you connect it. I'm gonna put a link down below on how to do it on the GH5 as well, but it's pretty easy. So it would depend really on the kind of camera that you are using. So guys, this is how you do it. If you have questions, let me know. Make sure you put it down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and you like this video. Other than that, I thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll see you on my next video.